Hey guys, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy VII Remaster. How are we all doing? Welcome back. We are on the world map for the very, very first time. And uh, yeah, this is it guys. This is the point where we move away from Midgar. We get more story outside of the Midgar story. So again, I want to stress if, uh, if you are following the remake project and you don't want to get spoiled on future events, this probably isn't the time for you to tune in. If you don't care, because you've seen the story already, you know what happens. Welcome aboard, I hope you're excited for more. Or if you're generally just intrigued on what happens after Midgar, again, welcome aboard. Uh, so, the gang want us to go over to Calm, which I can see over there in the distance. Um, there's quite a bit to do outside of this little main area, but I think for now we're going to go into Calm and we're going to start the next story uh, line, because it's quite there's quite a lot of plot in there. Uh, and it is quite the uh, section, so we're just going to go straight for it. And yeah, as you can already see, the uh, the world map has been up upscaled as well. It looks very more clear, and uh, it looks nice. I will say so myself. But this is calm. We're going to go straight for it. This is calm. I wonder if everyone's there already. Let's hurry over to the inn. Yes. Get over here. <laughs> okay, Baron. Now, we will explore the town, but again, like I said, we're just going to get this, this story plot going. And we will explore the town once it's all done. Hello. Mr. Cloud, your party is waiting for you on the second floor. Okay. Let's go see where they are then. Cloud, you're late. I've literally just walked through the door. I'm not that late. Um, now, we have an item here, which seems like you can't get to it. Can't reach it. Can't reach it. Can't reach it. Trust me, we can reach it. We're just going to keep doing this. And eventually, Cloud gets the ump. Damn. And we get a Megalixer, so... Yeah, Megalixa, I will show that off right now. Very, very uh, good item. Fully restores all members HP and MP. Now, these are very, very rare, so uh, use these when absolutely necessary. But for right now, we don't really need to use it. That goes with the elixirs as well. These, are these for me, have always been kind of end game um, items. So, yeah, you won't be seeing me use these anytime soon, that's for sure. Ooh, uh, but with that, we've got that nice mega elixir there. So let's get this story started, shall we? Yo, man, you're late. Sorry to keep you waiting. I guess everyone's here now. So let's hear your story. You know, the one about Sephiroth and the crisis for the planet. Let's hear it all. I used to want to be like uh, I used to want to be like Sephiroth, so I joined Soldier. After working with Sephiroth on several missions, we became friends. You call that a friend? Yeah, well, he was older than me, and he hardly ever talked about himself. Hmm. So I guess you'd call us war buddies. We trusted each other, until one day. One day. After the war, it was Soldier's duty to put down any resistance against the Shinra. That was five years ago. I was 16. Here we go. Sure is raining hard. Hey, how are you doing? I'm alright. I wouldn't know. I've never had motion sickness. Everything okay? Hey. So yes, yeah, this is our first look at Sephiroth. Settle down. They gave me some new material. I can't wait to use it. Just like a kid. Are you going to brief us about this mission? This isn't a typical mission. 
Good. Why do you say that? I joined Soldier to be like you. But by the time I made first class, the war was already over. My big hopes of becoming a hero like you ended with the war. That's why I always sign up whenever there's a big mission, kind of a way to prove myself. Say, how do you feel, Mr. Sephiroth? I thought you wanted a briefing. Our mission is to investigate an old Marco reactor. There have been reports of it malfunctioning and producing brutal creatures. Wow, I nearly slipped that word up then. First, we will dispose of those creatures. Then, we'll locate the problem and neutralize it. Brutal que- Wow, why can't I talk? <laughs> brutal creatures? Where? The marker reactor at Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I'm from. Hmm, hometown. Whoa. S sirs, something strange just crashed into our truck. That would be our monster. Oh boy. Oh, Sephiroth, that HP. <laughs> Oof. Oh dear, Cloud. Cloud's dead. But Sephiroth loses, loses, uses full life on me. Yay. Oh, this music. And Cloud's dead again. Oh, great. Yeah, you might as well just finish it off, Sephiroth. Oh, no, he's going for the full life again. Thanks, buddy. He's probably sick of resin, <laughs> resin mean it by this point. Okay, at least I didn't die. 3,000 damage. Oof. Sephiroth's strength is incredible. He is far stronger in reality than any stories you may have heard about him. So, where do you come in? Me? I was mesmerised by the way Sephiroth fought. Hmm. And then, we reached Nibelheim. How does it feel? It's your first time back, in, back to your hometown in a long time, right? So how does it feel? I wouldn't know, because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father. What does it matter? All right, let's go. Okay. So we're in Nibelheim, Cloud's hometown. You keep wandering around here, and you'll get in trouble. Being on watch is so boring. You want to do what we always do? Shall we practice? Practice? Oh, you mean practice my pose? Do members of Soldier always have to worry about what others think? How did it go? Was it like this? Good job! I really don't want to be in Soldier. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. The Marco smells pretty bad here. Hmm. Yo, wait a minute! Isn't that, uh, the name of Sephiroth's mother? I remember Genova. That's the damn headless spook living in the Shinra building. That's right. Barrett, would you please let us hear what Cloud has to say? You can ask questions later. Diva, I was only... Okay, Cloud, continue. The childhood friends reunite. I was really surprised with Tifa. Mm. The town was quiet. Everyone must have been in their houses, afraid to come out because of the monsters. No. 
Maybe they were afraid of us. We leave for the reactor at dawn. Make sure you get some. Uh, make sure you get to sleep early. Okay. All we need is one lookout. So you others get some rest. Oh, and you may visit your family and friends. Okay. Man, I'm so nervous. How come? Look, you never know when a monster's gonna show up, right? Hmm. I heard Sephiroth was coming, so I brought my camera. I want a shot of Sephiroth and a monster. Get back in the house, it's dangerous. Oh. Alright, fathead. <laughs> hey, this guy's a real... You? Are you Cloud? Really? So that's how it is, huh? Gosh, Cloud, you've grown up to be a nice looking lad. Then take my picture. Let's do this, Cloud. Let me take a picture of you with Sephiroth. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a look around Ebelheim uh, before we go back to um to the inn. We go in here. Welcome. Hey, aren't you... Oh. Have I been here before? I don't remember. Now you're pissing me off. This don't matter, so get on with it. <laughs> okay. Alright, Barrett. I love how he's just... In <laughs> he's just interrupting the flashback. That's great. Um, okay, so we spoke to this guy. Let's go into this house. Hello. Oh. You're with the Shinra. Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. It's you, Cloud. I didn't recognize you. Shinra? Shinra? Soldier? Saltzer? <laughs> Are you going to kill the monsters? Are you going to? Well, that's what we're here for. Kinda. Ooh, nice. Is that bread? That's like bread. Nice buns. Um. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's some nice, uh. It's a nice fire you got there. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go upstairs and have a look. Nice little. Again, where do these people sleep? This is. This is upstairs. Right, there's a chair, a desk, there's a treasure chest. I don't even know what this is. Where do you guys sleep? Lady? Cloud, you've grown up to be a strong man. Thank you, but where do you sleep? <laughs> I need to know these things. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go in here. Cloud? Did you go into my house? Uh, yeah. I thought you might be home. Alright, so, yeah, we know this is Tifa's house then. Really nice, by the way. Um, nice kitchen. A nice little, uh, little dinner table set out, nice and neat. This is the, uh, heater, or heating. I hope you've got beds, Tifa. That was, uh, you know, where do you sleep? <laughs> okay, you do. That's that's good. I guess this is the parents' room. Very spacious. No, I don't think there's much in here though. Is that supposed to be a picture of Tifa on the wall? Looks like it. Kind of. Huh. I guess this is. Oh. Cloud, did you go into my room? Um, yeah. I did. So this is Tifa's room. Tifa's beard. But uh, there's one important item that we need. <clears throat> Receive the orthopedic underwear. 
Cloud. It's true. Cloud. We're talking about something really important here. Now we're, uh, taking your panties, Tifa. Um, we, uh... Did you play my piano? Um, yeah, I jammed on it. Now, how did this go? Uh, I remember. Hang on. <laughs> oh. Anyway, yeah, no, I, <laughs> this, uh, this piano will come into play, but not until, again, way, way, way later on in the game, but, uh, we won't forget about the piano, um, I think there's a, there's a note here, the letter, did you read it, yeah, you remember what it said, I remember clearly, I read it, it was a letter addressed to Tifa from the son of the guy that runs the general store. Tifa, how are you? I just arrived in Midgar eight days ago. Yesterday, all of Nibelheim got together to welcome me. Yet yeah, to welcome me. The only person that we couldn't get a hold of was Cloud. But everyone said he wasn't really that close to us. So even if we asked, he probably wouldn't have come anyway. Well, enough about him. Midgar is really something. But to tell the truth, I feel so behind on everything, so out of it. Even the rooms of people in the slums are clean. Right now, I'm living in the slums, but I plan to move to a really nice room, like the ones I've seen in magazines, once I make some money. But to do that, I guess I have to find a job first. That's right, I still haven't found a job yet. I lied to my parents and told them I found a great job with Shinra Inc. I wonder if it's too late to go back. Sometimes I think I should have taken over my parents' store. Cloud, do you remember all of it? Yeah, I remember. Because there was some stuff about me. I just made it here to Midgar, but all I all I think about is Nibelheim. Hey Tifa, is that stupid old water tower still working? Is the old man at the inn doing well? Are my parents still at the shop every day? Have any monsters attacked? And most of all, how are you Tifa? It feels like I haven't seen you for years. We were all talking about you last night. Everyone likes you, but because everyone idolizes you, I couldn't very well stab them in the back. I always acted cool, but actually, I was just afraid of being jilted. Wow, if I keep writing like this, this will become a love letter. So I think I'll stop here. Take care, I'll write again. P.S. Write me back, okay? Mmm, interesting. I don't know if you ever find out who that is from, or who the friend was. I don't actually remember. Maybe you do. I, I, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, that's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, and yeah, I believe the... Oh, we can't go into items. But yeah, I should show this off, really. Actually, I'm going to show this off in a, uh, a bit later. For now. That's, that's about as much as we can do in Tifa's house. Anyway, there's not really much else here. We got the underwear. <laughs> There we go. Um, go in here. Ah, this should look very familiar. This is my house. It has nothing to do with what happened five years ago. Yo, wait. I want to hear. Me too. It's been a long time, right? Tell us more. You saw your family, right? All right. I don't know if you'd call it a family. My father died when I was still young. That's why my mum lived alone in this house. Yeah, I saw my mum. My mum. She was a vibrant woman, hadn't changed at all. But a few days later... Later? Why did Cloud sound Australian then? But a few days later, she died. But when I saw her, she looked fine. Hmm. Uh, oh no, he's, he's younger, Cloud, isn't he? Uh, 
Yes. Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Hi, Mum. Come, come, let me take a look at you. Hmm. You look so handsome. So, this is a soldier uniform. Mum, I... My, how you've grown. I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have... an older girlfriend. One that will take care of you. I think that would be best for you. I'm not interested. Are you eating right? I'm alright. The company takes care of me. Is that so? I know you can't cook. I've been worried sick about you. Cloud? You know Cloud. Isn't that right, Cloud? I'll always be your mother. Oh. Let's stop this. Oh boy. Um, yeah, now we'll go in here a bit later on. Cloud will mention that now. This mansion? No. I'll come here later. Right. Hmm. You from Shinra? Who are you? I'm the town's... Aren't you Cloud? Don't you know me? You're Tifa's... Right. I'm Tifa's father. Stay away from my daughter. Okay. Yes, sir. Alright, well, with that, I think that's pretty much everything. Everything we can see. Let's head into the, uh, to the inn. Hello. Uh, the, uh, the... <laughs> the, uh, the whole inn's booked up by the shooter for the night. Cloud? Is it you, Cloud? It must have been two years. Say, you've really moved up in the world, being under Sephiroth's command. So, what do you need, Cloud? Uh, where's Sephiroth? He's upstairs. Okay. Give me a room. It's all reserved for you, Shinra people, so I don't mind. Uh, but you would, uh, but wouldn't you feel more comfortable staying at home? At this point, I don't think so. How is the town? Now, about the town. A lot of monsters have been appearing in the last 12 months. Other than that, there's not much change. Nothing much exciting happens in a little town like this. It was alright when they were building the reactor. While they were still building it. But once it was completed, it's been bad. Within a few years, all the trees on the mountain withered away. I don't know if the reactor was good or bad. I mean, it's easy to say that it was a bad idea now, but... What can you do about it? Anyhow, we've got to get rid of the monsters. Then we'll be able to relax a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Is Shinra here to get rid of the monsters? Wow, he sounds really British. <laughs> that was not meant to come out that way. And who are you? I'm Zangan. I travel around the world teaching children martial arts. I have 128 students all over the world. In this town, a girl named Tifa is my student. Did you say Tifa? Tifa has good sense. She'll be a powerful fighter. I guess he's British. I want to see some Shinra techniques. And if you see anything you can uh, you can use, you might want to incorporate some of my techniques. Well, good luck. Thanks, Zangan. So yeah, Tifa's um, martial artist or teacher. So that's cool. Um, Alright, well, apparently Sephiroth is upstairs. What are you looking at? 
this scenery. I feel like I know this place. Hmm. We have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep soon. Uh, yeah, let's get some sleep. I've hired a guide to the marker reactor. I've heard she's young. I hope we can rely on her. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. I can't remember what he sounded like now. But I knew this was going to happen. No, he didn't sound like that, did he? But he does now. But I knew this was going to happen. I would have made a mountain climb. I would have made mountain climbing off limits. Okay. Late again? I was so nervous. I couldn't get any sleep. Think they'd let me? I think they'd let me take a picture. Is that what he sounded like? I can't remember. Already, I've forgotten. Once the guide gets here, we're heading out. Listen to me, Sephiroth, in case something happens. Trust me. I'll be alright, Dad. I have two men with Soldier with me. I'm Tifa. Nice to meet you. Tifa? You're the guide? That's right. It so happens I'm the number one guide in this town. It's too dangerous. I can't involve... I can't get you... Bleh. I can't get you involved in this. There's no problem if you protect her. Let's go. Um. Mr. Sephiroth, please let me take one picture for a memento. Tifa, can you ask him for me too? Picture time. Cheese. There we go. Great, thank you. I'll give each of you a copy once I get it developed. Ooh. A Marco reactor was built in Mount Nibble. That's what I call it. Mount Nibble, Nibble, whatever. Well, it's Nibbleheim, so it's, it would be Nibble, right? The cold mountain air of Mount Nibble was the same. Very creepy looking. Uh huh. Okay. It gets harder from here. Follow me. Let's hurry. I'm getting to a fire, apparently. Wow. Cloud, you... You are dead. <laughs> Sephiroth's going for Thundaga. Damn, that damage. So right, Sephiroth. I'm fine just here laying on the ground. Don't worry about me. Uh, the bridge? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Go! Everyone seems to be all right. Will we, will, uh, will we be able to get back? These caves are intertwined like an ant farm. Oh, and Sephiroth? One person seems to be missing. It may sound cruel, but we've no time to search for him. We can't go back. So if we must go on, we'll travel together from here. Okay, so yeah, something I did want to show off is not is Cloud dead. Obviously, Cloud has a different portrait. He has his... He's called Young Cloud. Young Cloud Portrait. And, of course, Sephiroth is in the uh, in the menu as well. But you can actually go through some of this stuff. Items you can't. And Limit Breaks you can't. But if we take a look at Sephiroth's magic... Oh, my goodness. Yes. He pretty much has everything. Cure, Cura, Curaga, Life, Full Life, Regen, Fire, Fire, Fireaga, Blizzard, Blizzara, Blizzaga, Thunder, Thundara, Thundaga, <laughs> Quake, Quara. Quagga. <laughs> I'm 
They are hard to pronounce. Uh, yeah, so, and you can actually look at his equipment as well. Uh, so he has the Masamune, or Masamune, however you want to say it. He has a gold armlet and a tough ring. Uh, Vitality and Spirit plus 50. Which is, yeah, that's a very good accessory, but you won't be getting that till way later on in the game. Um, then you can look at his materia as well. Um, yeah, he has an all materia, which is mastered. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, he has a lot of all materials. But yeah, you can't... Oops, Sephiroth. You can't do anything with his materia, so... Yeah. Alright, well, that's cool. I thought I'd show that off. Okay. We want to carry on from here. Alright. What's this? A mysteriously coloured cave. It must be the Marco energy. This mountain is especially abundant in it. That's why the Marco reactor was built here. Hmm. I don't think you can go in here. I think this is... I think you can go in there later on in the, like, later on in the game. I was going to say, let me guess, he's going to take no damage. Oh, he's healing me again, though. That might be a mistake, Sephiroth, because I probably... Cloud's going to die again. Oh no, unless you get your attack off. Oh no, he's going to die again. Oh no, he's not. Oh yes, he is. Oh, that's that. He's going for a Blazaga this time. Ooh. Yeah, get out of here. And yeah, obviously we don't get XP because this is a flashback, so it would make sense. Although, thinking about it, it would make sense. Because Cloud started off at level 7 at the start of the game, so technically I guess he would level up at this point. But, anyway. And what's this? A Marco fountain. It's a miracle of nature. It's so beautiful. It's very pretty, actually. If the Marco reactor continues to suck up the energy, this fountain will dry up too. Ah, interesting. Materia. When you condense Marco energy, materia is produced. It's very rare to see materia in its natural state. By the way, why is it that when you use materia, you can also use magic too? You were in soldier and didn't even know that? The knowledge and wisdom of the ancients is held in the materia. Anyone with this knowledge can freely use the powers of the land and the planet. That knowledge interacts between ourselves and the planet, calling up magic, or so they say. Magic? A uh, mysterious power? <laughs> Did I say something funny? A man once told me never to use unscientific terms like mysterious power. It shouldn't even be called magic. I still remember how angry he was. Who was that? Hojo of Shinra Inc. An inexperienced man assigned to take over the work of a great scientist. He was a walking mass of complexes. A Marco Fountain? So, this is where the knowledge of the Ancients is? Hmm. So we got a little bit more on Hojo there. Because again, we don't know that much about Hojo. We've obviously met him now. We know that he's a piece of work, but... We're getting more, more info on him. And I guess this is the uh, Marco reactor, huh? We finally made it. We sure took the long way, though. Tifa, you wait here. I'm going inside, too. I want to see... Only authorised authorized people are allowed in. This place is full of Shinra's industrial secrets. But... 
take care of the lady. All right, Satifa's got to wait out here. Cloud and Sephiroth going in. Hmm, man. You better take real good care of me then. All right. Okay. Oh, wow, doesn't this look familiar? So we're uh, exploring this reactor. Not quite as big as the uh, reactors in uh, Midgar, but... Okay. Alright, well... Sephiroth. Genova, huh? This is Genova, right? It won't open? This is the reason for the malfunction. This part is broken. Cloud, close the valve. Okay. I'll close the valve. Uh, why did it break? <laughs> oh God. see, Hojo. But doing this will never put you on the same level as Professor Gast. This is a system that condenses and freezes Marco energy. That is, when it's working correctly. Now, what does Marco energy become when it's further condensed? Um, uh, oh yeah, it becomes material. Right, normally. But Hojo puts something else in there. Take a look. Look through the window. Oh, yeah. Oof. Oh, God. What? What is that? Normal members of Soldier are humans that have been showered with Marco. You're different from the others, but still human. But what are they? They've been exposed to a far higher degree of marker than you. Is this some kind of monster? Exactly. And it's Hojo of Shinra that produced these monsters. Mutated living organisms produced by Marco Energy. That's what these monsters really are. Normal members of Soldier? You mean, you're different? Uh, uh hey, Sephiroth? No. B was I? Whoa. Was I created this way too? Am I the same as all these monsters? Sephiroth. Oh dear. You saw it. All of them were humans. Human? No way. Ever since I was small, I felt that I was different from the others, special in some way. But not like this. Uh-oh. Oof. Oh, man. So that was a human being at some point? Ugh. And again, yeah, it's... It's all down to Hojo. Am I human? I didn't really understand what Sephiroth meant then. I was even more surprised that Shinra was producing monsters. Mm. Damn, Shinra. The more I hear, the more I hate him. Who would have ever thought that the Marco reactor held such a secret? That would seem to explain the increase in the number of monsters recently. I think we should listen carefully to Cloud. Don't you think so, Barrett? Why are you talking to me? Okay, we can save the game and rest, or we can keep talking. I am going to save the game, and I'm going to end the video here, guys, and we will continue the second part of this story 
in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying uh, just this whole scenario in, in general. And uh, as always, guys, uh, look after yourselves. And uh, I will see you all in the next Final Fantasy VII Remastered video. Take care, guys. See you soon.